Hey everyone, how you doing? So today I am so excited you guys. So we are going in and we are doing a revision to my breast reduction. I'm here at Castleth Plastic Surgery. Dr. Colleen is gonna be doing the procedure for me today. I am just currently waiting for her right now. I think I talked about this a lot when I got my first breast reduction, but I really don't like the way that my nipples and my breasts healed. And Dr. Colleen is like the best in the biz for fixing that. So I'm just so grateful and so excited to hear what she has to say today. Hi. Hello. So nice to meet you. I'm nice Dr. Colleen. Nice to meet you. I'm so excited. Welcome. All right. Well, let's get going. I'll close this door. And I hear you want to talk about uh, revision of your breast reduction. Yes, yes. So I had a breast reduction in August of 2019. Okay. And I really like the size of my right boob. Okay. And my left boob, like, it had a little bit of, like, healing problems. It's a little bit larger. And also my right nipple, I had um, partial necrosis on it. Oh, okay. So I almost lost it. But, um, and it's just not, like pretty looking if that makes sense yeah. you know like the I, color gets a little irregular yes, in yes. The scar. yeah okay. so it's more just like something that i want them to be like perfect fit in a bra nice look nice and i've always been self-conscious of my boobs like even growing up so my original size was a triple d okay and then i think my right boob is a c now and then i would say my left boob is a d i would say okay so the goal so yeah. what i'm getting from you is you want both breasts to be a C. Yes. To the right yeah. side. We're going to fix the areola, yes, which has please. a little bit of irregularity. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about the position on your chest. Do you like where your breasts are sitting on your chest? Honestly, or do you like them a little higher or lower? I was feeling maybe we would go a little bit higher. Like, I'm very okay. interested in the um, mesh insert. So, what I always tell women like you is like your breasts drooped sooner than they should have for yeah. someone as young as you. And a triple D is big, but not huge. Yeah. So your body has told us something. Your body has said, hey, I just can't support that weight. The skin in this area is not as strong. Yeah. And so since you've already had a reduction and it's come down a little bit again, even with smaller breasts, yeah. I think some kind of internal support makes sense. So yeah. The mesh that I use is called Galaflex. It is uh, the compound P4HB. And basically what it does is it just creates a hammock for the tissue okay. that's still there that isn't removed. And as this hammock dissolves, it leaves behind type one collagen, which is the firmest collagen your body makes. Mm -hmm. So you have a little bit extra support so that your breast reduction will last a little longer. Okay. Uh, now the reality is, is all lifting procedures with time and gravity <laughs> and aging, they'll come down a little bit. So we're just trying to like make that happen a little more slowly then. Gracefully. Gracefully, yeah. exactly. I think if we tighten the skin up and bring you up so they're rounder and perkier, okay. I think it'll be a more youthful look for you. And then a lot of the areola that's abnormal on both sides here and yeah. here, that should be removed. Okay, we cool. Everything. And then your scar looks a little bit irregular down here too and we'll remove all of that as okay well. cool I guess my biggest question is about breastfeeding mm -hmm. because I know when you do get a breast reduction like it does dramatically decrease your chances right of absolutely being... okay so when we do a breast reduction we're removing breast tissue and that's breast tissue that would have made breast milk okay. now we are leaving behind some breast tissue that's still attached to the nipple so you should make some breast milk the best evidence we have was a study that was done a couple years ago for women that had breast reduction showed that essentially none of them were able to successfully wow. breastfeed. Now, okay. my experience with my patients is that if you have the right support, you should be able to make some breast milk mm -hmm. that's gonna be enough for bonding and for comfort, mm -hmm. but you'll probably have to supplement with formula. Okay. So if it's important to you to try to breastfeed for comfort and bonding, my advice is, is to consult with a lactation consultant while you're pregnant. For me, it's not like a major, major concern just because of like how uncomfortable my breasts like felt and even just going back in like the way that they look like it feels like to me it's more worth it and my mom had to give me and my sister formula like she didn't wasn't able to breastfeed so I'm and I think I think I turned out okay you turned out fine. 
<laughs> fed baby is a happy, healthy baby. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I think there, there's obviously a lot of judgment in this area that, yeah. that's unwarranted. And so, you know, I think it's kind of an important point to what you just said. I think traditionally we used to tell women to wait to have breast reductions till after kids. Right. And we do this a lot in society where we reduce women down to their baby making organs. That yeah. our worth is generated by making breast milk and having babies. Mm -hmm. And women were living decades with large breasts that made them have permanent back and neck yeah. pain, limit to their activity, their their self-esteem, when it could have easily been solved when they were young and they could have lived a different life. So I think it's important. These are important things to consider, yeah. but I think there's nothing wrong with pursuing it early so that you avoid those things. Adding the insert, do you think I'm going to feel any discomfort from that at first? Or? Usually not. So okay. I use a long-acting numbing agent that lasts for three to four days. Oh, cool. And the mesh, really, I have not seen patients have any more pain with placement of that versus people that don't have it. Okay. Um, the one thing you will notice with the mesh is remember it takes a while to dissolve and it is a little bit stiff and so if you go messing around in there <laughs> and rooting around and feeling after surgery you're gonna feel it and okay. you're gonna feel the stitches as time goes on you're gonna notice it less and less okay I have the same mesh that you're oh, having I had okay. my own surgery last fall and I just now, about seven or eight months out, I just now am starting to feel it soften for me. Okay, Just cool. to give you an idea. I really love Soul Cycle. Uh huh. Um, how long do I have to wait before I can exercise again? So, exercise in general versus Soul Cycle are <laughs> two different things. Yeah. So, in general, if everything is healing well and you and I are happy with how things yeah. look, at about two weeks, you can start some non impact exercise. Okay. So that's going to be like walking uphill on a treadmill, okay. using more of a recumbent bike, not a spin bike. Okay. When you get to a month and you're going to be up and down out of the seat, putting more pressure on the area, because remember uh -huh. your pec muscle is attached to your arm bone. Oh, true. So as you're getting up and down and really gripping that wheat, that steering on your soul cycle bike, you're going to be stressing the area more. Okay. I would like you to wait till about a month. Okay. Okay. I can do that. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're I'm welcome. so excited. I am too. I think you're going to look amazing. Yeah. Um, I think these things are pretty easy to fix. Okay, so that's very relieving to hear. <laughs> yeah, and I anticipate you'll have a lot easier healing, knock on wood. Okay, knock um, on wood. <laughs> yeah, I think things will go great this time. guys so ooh, I am on my way to my breast reduction revision at Castlet with Dr. Kelly Colleen I'm so excited I'm so nervous but I'm really excited I'm more nervous to go under than I am the actual surgery yeah you guys are gonna see the surgery and yeah we're just gonna be fixing and fine-tuning everything Some of the part that bugs you down there. Yeah, Hopefully yeah. Most of it that bugs yeah. you. Yeah. Even out the size a little bit. And then that will be that. We'll okay. put some mesh in there, which will help hold everything up so you get a longer run. Okay, out perfect. Of your lift. Yeah. And um, I think you're going to do great. I'll use that long acting numbing medicine. Okay. So you'll get a couple days of extra um, pain control. You might be a little more sore this time around because okay. suturing that mesh to your rib cage sometimes is a little bit icky. Oh, um, so I'll okay. make sure I focus in those areas to get you as numb as possible. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. I'll be okay, right? You'll be fine. Okay, you're, you're gonna okay. do great, in fact. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're ready to go. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs>
did was rearrange things, make the nipple smaller. I'm probably gonna take, this is her old scar down here. I'm probably gonna extend, unfortunately it's a little too long. I'm gonna extend it, but, but I think it'll work better. Beautiful, okay, let's lay her back down. got the dogs protecting me. He's hidden. I swear he's under here. How do you feel? I feel good. I feel a little bit more sore this time around than the first one. A little bit in my chest, but overall, the pain is super manageable. Like I would say it's a three out of 10. But keep in mind, you guys, I do have a higher pain tolerance. So I have this device attached to me and it's supposed to help bring blood flow to my nippies since last time we had a little bit of necrosis. And I'm going to see the doctor tomorrow. We're gonna to get a checkup really quick. And yeah, I'm feeling really good and I'm really excited. How long has it been? It's been about, well, it's seven o'clock right now, 7.30 right now, and I went into surgery at about 7.30. So it's about 12 hours later, and I feel really good. I'm a little sleepy for sure. I feel like I could sleep all night long, but which is good, because I need to sleep. But I have a nice pregnancy pillow here cuddling me. I made sure to order that, because last time I had a reduction, the pregnancy pillow was a lifesaver, because I have to sleep on my back for like four weeks, which is a nightmare for me. I'm a side sleeper. And this is what we got going on here, You're all wrapped up. It's mummified. giving she's the man. You're mummified. It's giving she's the man. Hey guys, we're about to walk into Castleith for my checkup. This is the second day. Riley's with me. I'm feeling good. I'm just a little bit sore in the middle of my chest. So yeah, we're just, know checking everything up okay guys so we're doing good I'm here with Rachel and she gave me a look over and everything's looking really good there's no bleeding and just a little bit of swelling and I'm gonna continue to wear all of this throughout the weekend and we're doing good this guy he's called the what again um, this is your Provena Vac. Provena Vac, and it helps to bring blood flow to the area and also helps to keep the wounds clean and heal nicely. Okay guys, it's been a week since my surgery and we're getting the wound back taken off today. I'm very excited. I think we're getting it taken off today. I'm not sure, but let's go. Okay, it is confirmed. The wound back is coming off today. I hope it doesn't hurt. <laughs> bye bye. You've been so good to me. Thank you for, mwah, thank you for all your help. All right guys, we're looking so good and I'm a little bit itchy, but my nips are so cute. Like I wish I could show you them. I'm so happy and everyone here at Castleith is like making me feel so comfortable. And they told me like, even if I wanted to come in every single day to have a checkup, I could. I won't do that. Maybe we'll come once a week, but yeah. Hey guys, so it has been officially a month and a half since I had the breast reduction surgery and I kind of wanted to give you guys a recap on my thoughts and what it was like having a reduction recovery surgery. I went into the meeting really not thinking that I was gonna get a second breast reduction. I just kind of wanted to hear about it because like I had been telling most of you guys on my Instagram and just talking about it everywhere that I did not heal well from my first breast reduction. I had partial necrosis on my right nipple, my breasts were uneven in size, and I really wasn't happy with the way that they had healed. I was kind of like in my mind, well, you know, I don't regret the first breast reduction I had. It definitely changed my life being able to like have a smaller size chest, but 
I wanted them to look nice and perfect and that's the main reason why I wanted to have surgery done in the first place. So when I went to Dr. Colleen at Castleith, I really was so impressed with how she talked to me, with how her staff was and how everyone there was, that I literally left booking the surgery that day. And I hadn't even talked about it with Riley, I hadn't talked about it with anyone, I was just like, yep, I wanna do it. I felt so taken care of and I really felt listened to and they had such a great app system and I was able to communicate with the nurses all the time. I sent them photos of things that made me feel a little bit like nervous and they were able to take away a lot of my anxieties and I healed amazing I really do feel like dr. Colleen and her team did everything they could to make me heal good even dr. Colleen was saying at my last appointment that I have surgery karma now I have redeemed it so I gotta say like having the second breast reduction really is a game changer with like just the way that I even look at myself because obviously not the average person is gonna know that I had nipple necrosis. It was hard to tell that my boobs were two different sizes but I noticed, I noticed in my clothing and I saw it in bras as well but like just even feeling good with how I look Nike like that makes me that makes it all worth it for the second surgery I started to feel a little bit more pain around compared to the first one But that's a good sign because the first one I didn't feel anything and I wound up with necrosis I have been able to resume all of my Activities I've been going to soul cycle. I don't have any pain. I'm fitting in my sports bras now I'm not spilling out the side. I'm not spilling out the top I'm not worrying about running and my boobs popping out. I honestly owe it all to dr. Colleen and her team I'm just so happy with these results and I honestly feel like if you want to get a breast reduction I say go for it because the healing time really wasn't that bad the overall pain I would say out of 10 being the worst the max it got was like a four or a five for me and that was more just like muscle spasms it wasn't even the actual surgery pain it was just kind of like these muscles here kind of like working and fusing back together and the nerves kind of fusing back together and another amazing thing is that my right nipple used to not be able to get like a full salute and now she is full saluted y'all so I'm very excited about that too I have feeling in spots where I didn't have feeling before and I definitely know that there is a risk every single time you take a surgery and have a surgery but Dr. Colleen really did everything she could to make it as successful successful as it is and has been so I hope this video is educational and helpful for those of you if you have any questions I'll do my best to try to answer them below basically I just wanted to bring more awareness to the fact that a breast reduction is life-changing you know I originally had like almost ease and I am now sitting at a C and that is so amazing for me. Even like like a small C, I would even say. Like it's, they're literally perfect. And I always heard growing up, you know, like, oh my God, why would you want a breast reduction? People pay to have boobs like you. Your boobs are perfect, blah, blah, blah. And I really want to break away from that stigma because had I had felt encouraged about getting a breast reduction, I probably would have done it way sooner in my life, probably would have done it at 20, but at least I have it now. And a lot of people were also asking me about children, you know, like, what's it gonna be like when I have kids? Will I need to have another breast surgery? And the answer to that is, I don't know. I really don't know what it's gonna be like when I have kids, but Riley and I are not planning on having kids for the next five years, and that's five years of my life where I'm feeling comfortable in my own skin and with my body. And I think that that's more important to me than worrying about when I'm gonna have kids and have to carry around tiggled biddies. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely check out Dr. Colleen and Castleith. I honestly can't say enough good things about them. I even started going to them to get Botox and filler. They are amazing. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank Thank you so much for watching and if you like what you see please consider subscribing and I will see you guys next time bye